Thank you, elf boy. Oh, elf man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man, I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush! I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy! Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait. But not for long. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's him! It's Big Bad Buddy! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks! He's got the cheese! <laughs> Start the engine! Full sail! Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on! We've got him! We've got 
him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up. I don't think so. <laughs> He's eating the lime. Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah, he's eating Banty. It's a terrible signal. Why's old Elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. You. Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny, magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. It's Big Bad Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. 
Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship. There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty. The boat Big Bad Barry ate last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi. And this Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry... Then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and fishy, you're right. We're in the belly of the big fish. That explains the smell. Just think, all those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we going to get out of here? Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy. We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well, 
The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry, I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No! Mummy, it was me! I did it, and I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh! Oh, no, my poor darling! Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you are going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh! I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew, for a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood, jelly flood, jelly flood. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Magic spells away you go! It worked! Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. <coughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. 
Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly, let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. There, that should do it. Kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <coughs> <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things! It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? You, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. Okay. 
Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! She told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another, the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time! I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic. Just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem. Blue to red. Hooray! Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. How awful. Good.
good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> Oh, you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> And how smelly it is. Oh, stinky whippy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari, um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops, sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? Well, jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I'll just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! More, more, more. Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What? Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! <gasps> Jerry Fudd! <laughs> the weather in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. Oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. 
Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> to love his birthday card. <laughs> Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade. We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. <coughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> Oh, hang on, everyone! <laughs> it worked! Hooray! <laughs> Elf Rocket to Control! We are 
heading back to the Little Kingdom using jelly power. Hooray! They're on their way home. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, 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 oh. The things we do for our pets, eh, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh. Ooh, Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us, it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes. Uh, 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 Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, uh. Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh, 
Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is a Dad, place. I can oh, hear big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <laughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splosh. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Froggies. Polly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> ah. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look! They're following us! Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben! No, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf! Told you it would work! <gasps> I hope they're OK! <laughs> they don't look very happy! Elves are never happy! Stop the spell now, Nanny Plum! Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind! Oh, OK! All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> Your Majesty. Whoa, whoa! Back to that chicken! <laughs> Quick, to the elf truck! Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit up, Zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy.
<laughs> smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh! I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh no, Nanny! I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry, the spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute, or a week, or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Zigzag zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, 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 me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. <laughs> <laughs>